Hey y'all, what's up? This is Belle with the Open Diary Podcast. If you're not already, follow us on TikTok, Instagram, and subscribe to our YouTube channel at the Open Diary Podcast on all platforms. The Open Diary Podcast just put together on every single platform. Um, I want to give a shout out to TayCustoms.PartyRentals. Black owned party rental play uh business. They have the three sixty booth, they have photo booths, you know what I mean? So if you're planning a party, know somebody planning a party, know somebody who knows somebody that's planning a party, tell them to hit up Tay Customs dot party rentals on Instagram. That's T A E K U S T O M Z dot party rentals. Okay? Tell them Bell sent you. So Today's topic is going to be about growth. I was going to do uh, do um, a story time, but I need y'all to comment down below. I done been through so much shit. I'm sure if y'all think about something, I got a story for it. Um, so comment down below what you want to hear about um, or what you want me to talk about. I need some suggestions, y'all. Um, I don't want to bore y'all, you know what I'm saying? Talking about the things that I just want to talk about. I want to, you know, reach out to y'all and see what y'all want to hear too. Um, or, uh, you know, follow me on Instagram too, cause I'm going to start doing, um, polls on at the open diary podcast on there. So that way I can see what y'all want to hear, you know, so I can talk to y'all. So <clears throat> today we're going to be talking about growth more specifically, you know, accountability. That's what I should really call it. We're we, we talking about it, taking accountability because taking accountability is growth. You know what I'm saying? Um, some of y'all don't like that. Ooh, you was acting real ugly. You don't think so? No? Mm, you sure? Your attitude was kind of steak and dank last Sunday, but you know, it was being real rude to me. You know, not the personal, you know, I'm not taking it personal, but yeah, you was acting ugly. No, I wasn't. Bitch, yes, the fuck you was. And you know you was. So, but not just with situations like that, with everything. Like, you know what I'm saying? If you did something, you fucked up, you fucked up. I mean, who, who, I mean, who cares? Like, you get what I'm saying? But you're never going to grow if you don't take accountability for the things you did, for the, for the part you play in whatever situation like me with my oldest son like every now and then like he could just be such a whiner like oh my gosh why are you whining shut up and I could take accountability for that that was my fault because for a long time it was just me and him you know what I mean I never thought that I would have any more children so you know I babied my baby you know what I'm saying even though he was a boy and people was telling me don't do this don't do that you gonna have you know whatever this is my baby you know what I'm saying and even still to this day I still baby my baby he eight years old but he always gonna be my baby I don't care okay but I take accountability for that and at the end of the day I'm the only one who got to deal with so 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 what I don't care so it could be about anything like taking accountability for whatever it is, whatever situation it is. You cannot be so blinded that you think you just so perfect. You don't do nothing wrong. It's always them, him and her. So it's never you. Hmm. Definitely believe you played a part there. I'm almost for certain you know you play the part you know what I mean because even if it's like something so motherfucking simple okay so boom <clears throat> one day my kids was um I told them I, I'm like okay go get something to drink right now I ha- hardly buy anything from the grocery store for like myself like oh this is mine you know no one else touch so this specific time I bought myself uh some uh, strawberry lemonade I don't know why I just wanted it I, I know I wasn't gonna drink it. it was gonna be theirs eventually anyway but um so that was my thought in my head 
So later on that day, I tell my kids, okay, like, hey, go get something to drink. Like, you know what I mean? Y'all been doing a lot, whatever. Woo-woo, go get something to drink. So they proceed to go get something to drink. They open my strawberry lemonade. Now, I had to take accountability for that. That was my fault because I didn't say, go in, hey, go get something to drink, but only grab this or that. You know what I'm saying? I didn't say that. I said, go get something to drink. Something to drink means all cards are on the table. You know what I'm saying? So even if you aren't communicating properly, communication is so key into a lot of things getting fucked up. And sometimes understanding. Some people are not capable of understanding. I don't know. They miss a few screws. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Because it's like you can you can go deep into detail and some motherfuckers just don't get it. But anywho, in that situation, that was my fault because I did not go far enough into detail. You know what I'm saying? So they didn't know, you know, so I'm like, fuck, Bill, you know, fucked up, whatever. Y'all can have it now. And you know? So even something just as simple as that. Not going far enough into detail about what you mean when you say x y and z you know what i'm saying take accountability for that part you can't be mad because they didn't do this right because you didn't say it had to be done a specific way you didn't say i want you to i you didn't say i I want you to uh stop at the red light go You, you whatever it is you didn't explain it properly like you know what i'm saying so like i said it could be anything um so you first have to learn how to communicate properly so that people can understand exactly what you mean. And then sometimes you can ask them, like, you, I have a cousin who say, like, you know, like, you know, like, you know, at the end of every sentence she says, like, and it's like, you could kind of ask them in a way to where they don't feel like, you know, you treating them like a child, but like ask them in a, in a way, like you get what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, after you communicate whatever it is that you're trying to tell them, make sure that they understand exactly what you mean. So that way it is not to be confused. Um, but before I grow any further, accountability also comes with apologizing. I know that's very hard for some people, but it's okay to admit I fucked up. We're nobody is perfect. We're not perfect. Like it's like, hey, look, I'm sorry. Um, I didn't mean it like that. What I meant was woo do woo woo. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like take take accountability for your actions. Take accountability for not communicating properly. Every day is a learning process. Like you get what I'm saying? Like and, and some of these things I know and I still fuck up. Like, you know what I'm saying? And it is what the fuck it is. Can't nobody judge me. You motherfuckers cannot judge me on the other end listening to this okay you understand because guess what i bleed red just like you okay a lot of the mistakes i didn't make you gonna make a lot of the mistakes you didn't make i'm gonna make and it is what the fuck it is but learn how to apologize people i don't understand what's so hard and what's so wrong with apologizing but it's not that bad i apologize i'm sorry i fucked up and moved the fuck on nobody is and and then and and then if somebody's apologizing to you for something that they did and they fucked up and y'all decide to move on don't go telling that person and bringing the shit up every chance you fucking get that shit is so motherfucking annoying like y'all gotta stop doing that because then that is what makes it hard for people to apologize and admit that they fucked up sometimes is that the fact that whatever it was is going to continuously be thrown up in their face nobody likes that shit you like pie in your face you like shit in your face because that's what it feel like when somebody throws something back up in your face that you did and you already apologized and that y'all quote unquote supposedly have moved on from you know what i'm saying so that's not cool don't be doing that don't be one of them and let's just be real you know what i'm saying like you're a full grown ass adult. You're a grown ass man, Mike. You're a grown ass lady, Sharon. Um, I understand that your actions have consequences, good or bad. 
Like, you know what I'm saying? Just because, it, it don't expect for people just because you did fuck up and you took accountability for it to just forgive you. Because you feel like you're ready to be forgiven for it. And because you moved on. Sometimes people need time to process that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, how the fuck you gonna tell me you took $12,000 of my money and I'm supposed to just forgive you because you said sorry. Absolutely the fuck not. You knew you was wrong when you took my $12,000. I knew you was wrong when you took my $12,000. A simple sorry, a simple I apologize. And it can be very genuine. Does not mean... And I could forgive you right then and there. Like, you know, I could... I, I, I forgave you when you did the act. Especially if I fuck with you that hard. But... I don't got to be cool with you again. I don't have to have you close to me again. You get what I'm saying? I don't, I no longer have to tolerate any of your bullshit if I choose not to. Stop expecting people to be just because they forgive you and they let you go. You know, don't, don't, just because you apologize or whatever and you was genuine with it and they accept your apology. That don't mean they got to keep you in their life. That don't mean they got to keep you in their corner. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't have to deal with you anymore, sir. You did some fucked up shit. And now this is a consequence of your action. Apology or not. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, I no longer feel comfortable with you around me. And that's just as simple as that. Like, you know what I'm saying? So understand, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, actions have consequences, good or bad. You choose which part of the stick you're going to get. Like, that's on you. You know what I'm saying? And don't get the blaming everybody. Oh, she mad. Oh, she mad at me. I apologize to her. I don't understand what the problem is. The problem is you shouldn't have did it in the first place. That's the fucking problem. Because I wouldn't have done you like that. And no, I can't expect you to be me. But at the same time, I know that I cannot change you. I know that I cannot make you act a certain way like you get what I'm saying or be a certain way so I choose not to have you around me and that's just that like I'll and and I don't hate you like if I see you I'm like hey hey you know but as far as calling me and at bye goodbye good night take a nap it's over you understand so um so yeah no like mm, Mm-mm. y'all actually got consequences and that's what everything in life not even just you know relationships i mean hell if you go to the damn store and steal over a thousand dollars worth of shit and you get caught guess what you're going to jail bro you're going to jail what happens if you find twelve thousand dollars and return it back to the owner if you understand who it is and you're getting a good reward. It may be a simple thank you. It may be a part of the cut. But your acts, your actions have consequences. Good or fucking bad. And so, the word of the day is accountability. Start taking accountability for y'all motherfucking actions, y'all. Um, I'm trying to stop cussing. Let's start taking accountability for your actions, y'all. Um, see, I didn't even need all that profanity. That sounded so much better. Oh my God. And it just flowed out. Like I don't even cuss. Go, Bill. Thank you, girl. Girl, you know, cause we can do anything. We put our minds to when we gon' st- We're not going to stop cussing. We're going to slow down on cussing. I almost lied to myself. We're not doing that. Um, <laughs> um, so yeah, like that's pretty much all I got for today. Um, I'm mm, looking at the time. Today was pretty short. It was pretty short. It was pretty short. But guess what? Not all the time I'm going to have a lot of shit to say to y'all. <laughs> Not all the time I'm going to have a lot of stuff to say to y'all. You know what I mean? Um, because I try to be um, organic when I'm talking to y'all. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah. So, it's not going to just always be like, you know. A whole lot to say. And then I don't feel like... I, I, I don't have a whole lot to say either right now, y'all. I just got my, my mouth hurting. I don't... Mm, I really in the mood. 
But I came on here and I talked to y'all for a little bit because I love y'all and I rock with y'all and I fuck with y'all. If y'all was to call my phone, I wouldn't ignore you, okay? So, if you did call my phone today and I did ignore you, this is me talking to you now. I love you. Bye.